What's up guys, Next Tech here and in this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get root and how to install a custom recovery on the new LG Nexus 4. Now because it's a Nexus it's actually pretty damn easy to do. So I'll put all the links in the description and right at the end I'll also show you how to go ahead and install the AOSP browser which is just 10 million times better than Chrome. So the first thing you want to do is head over to this website called wugfresh.com and Wugfresh is a developer on XDA, he's a recognized developer so I wouldn't worry about like things going wrong, it's, uh, I've done it before and it's, it's all good. So go ahead and click here and download it and what you'll get at the end is this. So let's go ahead and install, uh, it doesn't take very long to install. Like I said, this is a, a root toolkit, so it's made very, very easy. So it, uh, it literally, it does it all for you. You can't kind of mess it up. Um, so this is the box you'll get to start off with. You select the device. You can see there's loads of other devices, but LG Nexus 4 is there. And then you pick your Android build. And if you don't know which one it is, go ahead and go down to uh, About Phone, and it'll be the bottom thing. I'm going to go ahead and choose Android Any Build. Hit Apply. And this is the uh, box you get. So to root or install a custom recovery, you have to unlock your bootloader. Um, I'm not going to do this because I've actually already done it and if you unlock it or relock it and unlock it, you lose all your data and I just don't want it. So make sure you unlock it. Of course, you can do a backup here first if you don't want to lose your data. Also, before you do any of this, make sure you go ahead and install the full drivers here for the phone. It'll do it automatically for you. So no problem whatsoever. Next up, go into options and you'll see here you've got options on custom recovery which one you want to install. You can either install a team win recovery or the clockwork mod. I'm going to go with team win because you know I, I just prefer it but it's no biggie you can go with whatever you want. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and click custom recovery and then you want to go ahead and plug in your phone. Now, oops that's the wrong way around. So we'll go ahead and USB plug it in and you'll need USB debugging on. If you don't know how to do that, what you'll do is you go into settings all the way down and you'll see developer options or you might not see developer options if you haven't opened it before. If you need to open it and make it available from the hidden view that it comes in, go ahead and tap build number seven times and it will eventually unlock. I think if I do it, it'll say no need, you're already a developer. So and then go into the developer settings and hit up USB debugging. It's not on by default, so you have to go ahead and turn it on. It'll give you a little caution notice. And you can see in the top now, USB debugging is on. So we're pretty much ready to go. So you go back onto your computer. And I've hit custom recovery here as a tick box. If you just want to root and don't want custom recovery, then go ahead and untick that box. Hit root. It'll go ahead and download all the images for the recovery. It'll go ahead and download the Super SU for the root. It'll do all that for you. So again, you don't have to do anything. And I'm not going to skip it because it doesn't even take very long. While it's doing this, I might as well just get in the whole caution thing. You know, when you're doing this stuff, you, you've got to be careful. You don't like mess around with it. You just do, do your full concentration on it because you, uh, you will need it. You don't want to go ahead and break your device, even though Nexus devices in general are pretty much unbrickable. Um, yeah, once this is done, you'll be able to do what you want with your device, basically. You'll be able to install custom ROMs and kernels. So this is it, guys. Basically, it's going to say it's going to go ahead and do it. It goes, you need to be unlocked in order for this to work. So that's the bootloader, which I am. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And here we go, checking ADB status, device connected. So if you don't want to use this toolkit, you can always just do it the old fashioned way and use fastboot and OEM unlock and, you know, push all the, all the files over that way if you want to do it the old fashioned way. But I thought I might as well show you this way because it's much, much easier. So here we go now. It's rebooting your device into bootloader mode. I'll just keep holding this up. That is bootloader mode. And yeah, you basically don't have to do anything from now on. It's basically very, very simple. There is one more thing you have to do, but here we go. It now says flashing custom recovery. And now we're going to see the team win custom recovery come up and do its thing. Now well, you can see that. So here we're going to have to go ahead and do something. It says on the, it tells you all the instructions are here. So press install. You can see install here. 
and select it says navigate to ready to flash routing files I'm actually already there so you go ahead and click busybox add more zips super su add more zips recovery signed and then you swipe here to flash and boom there it goes and when it finishes press reboot system so it says successful reboot system go ahead and click OK on the Nexus root toolkit on the computer and that is pretty much it guys when it turns back on it's just going to go ahead and say test root and I'll show you there's loads of apps you can test root you know you can go get the root checker all that sort of stuff so I guess this is the like the iffy time where like it might get boot looped if something goes wrong but as you can see there mine hasn't it has gone right and it is unlocked so there we go this last uh, procedure shows it is complete and says hey go ahead and check you've got your rooted device so if I go over here you can see Lightflow has been granted root uh, permissions anyway so I do have it and you can see there in over the air root keeper it says device rooted it's all ticked and that's it guys so I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it's literally as easy as that and I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and just go into the uh, bootloader and recovery mode to show you that the custom recovery is there. To get into the recovery mode, make sure you turn it off, hold down and power for a few seconds and you'll see this. Hit the up arrow until you get to recovery mode, hit power and now we're going to see Team Win come up. And there you go guys, you can do all sorts of recovery stuff, you can back up your ROMs, you can flash new ROMs, flash kernels, all that really good stuff. So it's literally that damn easy. I'm just going to reboot into Android now and show you how to go ahead and install the AOSP browser because it's much, much better than Chrome. Um, basically, Google AOS, AOSP browser APK, download the APK and just hold on and I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and install it. Still booting up here. Luckily this one's pretty damn quick at booting up, so here we go. So once you've got it, once you've gone ahead and downloaded the APK, you'll need a file manager. I use ES, it doesn't really matter. Um, make sure if you use ES you go to settings all the way at the bottom and you click root settings you go to root settings there you need to mount the file you mean mount file system it needs to be writable and then you want to go ahead and click favorites Oops. click favorites this is really hard to do and see at the same time click this slash here and that's root so now you go ahead and click system app and you can see my browser apk there just go ahead and copy the browser apk there but don't install it yet and then you'll see these two files next to it, or they should be next to it anyway. Browser Provider Proxy APK and Browser Provider Proxy .odex. You need to rename both of these and add a one at the end, just so, you know, they're basically, that's the thing that's, that makes the browser crash. So just rename it to one. Uh, you can delete them if you want, but then if you want to do an update through Google or Clockwork Mod, it will be difficult because it checks your system and then it will say certification error and it won't do it. So when you want to do an update, just take away the ones and it'll all work. Then go ahead and install the browser like you normally would from here and it will work as easy as that and the browser does not crash. So yeah guys, I hope that was pretty damn clear. It's really, really easy to do. Um, yeah, that's how you root and install a custom recovery.